Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm reviewing the ESP32 S3 camera board, a tiny but very powerful board for camera projects. If you want to make a face detection system, smart camera, or live video streaming project, this board is perfect. Inside the box, we get the ESP32 S3 main board, the OV2640 camera module, a Wi-Fi antenna, some header pins, everything you need to start your camera projects. This little board comes with the ESP32 S3 chip and an OV2640 camera module. It is designed for projects like face detection, video streaming, Smart security cameras, IoT and automation, home projects with live camera feed. The board is small, low power, and perfect for DIY creators. If you want to buy this board, the Seed Studio purchase link is available in the video description. Now let's talk about the special features of the Seed Shao ESP32 S3. Efficient system. It is powered by the ESP32 S3 chip from Xtensa, which is fast, efficient, and great for AI tasks. The board supports many communication ports, and it works perfectly with Arduino IDE and CircuitPython, so you can choose the platform you like. It has built-in 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and Bluetooth Low Energy 5.0. With the included U.FL antenna, you can connect up to 100 meters away, perfect for IoT, smart home, or remote camera projects. Super small size. The board is only 21 by 17.5 mm, which means you can use it in very compact projects where space is limited. Now let me quickly show you how to use the camera web server example. First of all, you have to connect the board to your laptop or PC using a Type-C cable. Open Arduino IDE. After opening Arduino IDE, first go to Tools. If you don't see ESP32 in the board list, then go to Tools Board Boards Manager Search for ESP32, then install ESP32 by Espressive Systems. After installation, the ESP32 options will appear in the board list. Next, select the correct board. Shao ESP32 S3 Then select your COM port. After this, open the example. Go to File Examples ESP32 Camera Camera Web Server When you click on Camera Web Server, it will open a code file. After the code opens, we need to make a few changes. First, scroll to the section where different camera models are listed. You will see something like Delete or comment this line, because we are not using ESPI. Now scroll a little down and you will find XAAO underscore ESP32 S3. You must remove the forward slash forward slash from the beginning of this line. That's it, now the code is set for the Xiao ESP32 S3 Sense camera.
After that, you will see SSID and password written in the code. In the SSID field, you must type your Wi-Fi name. And in the password field, you must type your Wi-Fi password. After that, you need to upload the code. When the code is successfully uploaded, you must open the serial monitor. Here you can see it says, camera ready, and next to it an IP address is shown. You just need to copy that IP address and paste it into your browser to open the camera feed. And here you can see the live camera stream from the ESP32 S3. This is the default camera web server demo, and it works perfectly. If you want part 2 with motion detection, face detection alerts, or AI projects, comment below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more ESP32 projects.